welcome to you guys in my youtube channel today i am here because a lot of people are facing problem while filling the form of interfill line and today i will teach each and every step of interfill line form fill up process okay without delaying let's start at first you need to open the website of interfill line resident permit uh, let's start if you are applying for working visa then you should click in work and if you are applying for a student visa you should click on students and today I am gonna teach about the on student visa so I click here and you should get ready with those things a valid password a certificate of acceptance from a Finnish educational institution a clarification on income certificate a clarification on tuition fee or scholarship if applicable a uh, certificate of health insurance you need to get ready with those things and let's fill up the application okay at first information on application yes information on application it goes like this if you and you should choose your gender male and female i choose your male date of birth you should write your date of birth according to your password you should look at your password carefully and write from that and letter pad from the finish has a personal identity code you don't have this you don't need to write this um, country of birth uh, like nepal india bangladesh you can write anything i write here nepal and place of birth something like I write here going about and current citizenship and I write here Nepal and yes native language which is your native language I write here Nepali and which is your native language you can write that preferred language of contract in which language you are contacting with your university you should write here uh, most of the student contact on English only so write here English occupation if you are applying in the student visa then you should write a student and current education if you are applying after your um, plus two then you should write your secondary level and if you are applying after master for master then you should write a university degree or other other education so I go in secondary level for bachelor student contact information completed information on passport and passport type which is your passport type means you don't have this all alien passport refuse travel document and um, all is our passport so I click in passport passport number like uh, uh, PA passport number I write here country of issues in which from which country you have issue you should write that and I write here Nepal Nepal authorities of issue you should look in your password carefully and if there this authority of issue is in all capital letter then you should write in all capital if all in small letter then you should write write exactly what is in your password please don't do mistake look carefully and I write here YMOFA and in Department of Passport Last like this your passport you should write that date and I write here 20 uh, 20 January 2023 and 10 year about 10 year means 2032 okay I write here 2033 10 01 2000 10 01 
Why this? Okay, I will keep this only 2047 February. Okay, and earlier resident in Finland. Are you already in Finland? If you have already gone once in Finland, then you should write in Finland and all are new. So I write here no. Have you previously resident in Finland with a resident permit? No, obviously not. Marital status. What is a marital status? If you are single, you should write here click in single, married then married, divorce then divorce, and I write it single. Do you have any underage children? No. And next page. Next. I have completed this information on applicant. Now I go in studies. Information about my studies. The level of your studies. What is the level of the study that you are applying in the resident permit? If you are applying for a bachelor's, then you should write your higher education and learner's number. This uh, learner's number you will get in your acceptance letter uh, yes this is my learner's number and yes you you will get in your acceptance letter which is provided by university and education institution where you have been accepted as a student and you should write that i write here Hagahelia university of applied science and choose your university type of study um, study leading to a degree if you are applying for degree leading to degree or example bachelor's or master degree then this many of the students go in this only so i click here have you applied for a asylum in finland obviously not no specify which degree or qualification and bachelor's degree then you should write in bachelor master then master now i will go through bachelor degree and study language most of the people go in English only because they got problem in Finnish language. So I click in English. Study begin. Um, in your acceptance letter, there will be study begin and study in. And you should write like if you are applying in August. August intake then 17 August 2023. And study ends about like this 2026. 2026 uh, December 31 31 like this and are you applying for a decision permit for a period of time that is different from the duration of studies many people get confused in this please don't get confused yes you all are applying for the time for the studying and so I click in yes Yes, I am applying for a resident permit for a period of time that is different from the duration of the studies. If you do yes, then you need to think. Mm. Yes, suppose your study time is uh, 2023 August 17 and it ends in 2026 35, 31. You need more than this um, resident permit, then you should click yes. Otherwise, you only you need to resident permit for this time then you should click no and I need more so I click yes here and I want the resident permit from the ballot date and you can write a date like uh, July I will because my um, study start from August so I click in July 15 July 15 2007 23 and ins like uh, my study ends in 2026 uh, December 31st then I will um, click 2027 and 2027 because I need some time to pack up my things and return to Nepal if they don't give visa to uh, June like 23 like this 
and have you registered yourself as attending at the educational institution? Yes, yes, you have, we all have registered already as we have already paid tuition fee and this then obviously we should click yes. Why did you decide to apply um, to study as a Finnish institution? You can write anything here like uh, quality education in Finland. So I like to uh, study in Finnish educational institution or whatever you like and what is the reason you can write that. Other studies in Finland include in a joint program or a joint program between two or more higher educational institutions. Obviously not. So we click here. No. Next page. Yes, we have completed in on information on the applicant and studies. Yeah, here is red dot because I haven't filled some data. Yeah, so it is red in my. I will write something okay for just clicking there. Have you applied for asylum in EU country? No, like this. I have filled all next. Yes. Tuition fee and scholarship from your educational institution. Are you studies subject to a fee? If you are in fee or if you have got tuition fee, then you should click here. Yes, but I have been granted a scholarship for the tuition fee. Otherwise, no. And I have got some scholarship, so I will get yes, but I have granted a scholarship for the tuition fee. How much is your tuition fee of one year? Like I have 9700 euro. Uh, I will write this and how much I have paid. I have paid up uh, first semester only, so I click here 4870. How much of your tuition fee does the scholarship cover? Like my 2000 euro, so I click here 2000. How will you secure your income in Finland? Mm. Scholarship amount for living expenses, personal fund, and how do you have collected your money in your bank account with uh, 6720 euro you should collect in your bank account and how you have collected from personal funds then you should click your personal fund or from other sponsor then you should click in other income so and you should describe on that also here other income per month and yes please describe your other income means from sponsor you should describe it here and income requirements from the intended resident period. Yes, you should your total income you should show is 8792. You should show your income, not in bank. All total income you should show 8792 euro. What type of what type of health insurance will you have in Finland? Uh, most of the students do private health insurance, so I click in private health insurance. And name of your insurance company. I have done my in Swiss care, so I write a Swiss care health insurance. And from July 15, and they will give your visa on from uh, by looking your insurance date. They don't give one day also before your insurance date, so be careful on that also. And of one year, so 2024, uh, July 14. Yes, I hereby confirm that my health insurance is valid in the entire duration of study in Finland. Okay, what is the maximum amount of your insurance cover? My insurance cover 50,000 euros, so I write at 50,000. And amount of access per claim that is zero. My insurance cover all expenses with no accesses. I don't need to pay anything. <coughs> Have you ever been convinced of an offense and sentenced to a punishment? Obviously not. No. Are you a suspect in a criminal in investigation? No. Do you consent to a Finnish migration authorities obtaining a criminal record, extra or similar record from the foreign authorities? Yes. 
Have you been prohibited from entering Finland or the seasoning territory? No. Okay, I have completed this also. Yes, and we should upload your documents, add documents. Here you should upload a copy of a passport and you need to upload all the pages of your passport from if you have got 34 pages passport then you should include all if you have got 64 pages passport then you should include all 64 pages from top to bottom of your passport at HR. Certificate of acceptance attendance from a Finnish educational institution you need to which you have got from your educational institution you need to add here clarification of income means uh, attach a clarification how you will secure income in finland during your study for example attach a bank student from the bank account means in which bank you have uh, included 6720 euro from that bank you need to take out your six month bank statement and bank certificate and you need to include here and health insurance health insurance means um, which you have done health insurance like private health insurance from uh, swiss care then you need to upload here paper of that insurance clarification on tuition fee or scholarship and most of the students get confused in this please don't get confused clarification on tuition fee means or scholarship um, or later you will get from a university um, of paying tuition fee please upload that here it is short and clear clarification on origin of funds yes you need to upload here your relationship certificate your sponsors bank statement uh, salary slip or contract paper or if you are um, uh, uploading here any documents from sponsor and your family members you need to include here all to have a um, clearly writing making pdf files you need to include here all the documents up to five and one should be of four megabytes only and previously degree qualification certificate from applicants yes um, if you are applying for a bachelor degree then you should upload it first plus two and then grade 10 grade 9 like this way you need to upload here any employment certificate from application then undergraduate if you are applying for a master degree program then you need to get employment certificate or if you are proving your gap then you should upload here documents showing that you are legally staying in country where you submitted that this is not necessary this also not necessary and if you are uploading more document please upload it here and you should do next page after this please be careful while uploading your documents yes and after completing this all it take time after filling i my this learner's number is incorrect so please and after so filling of this all form you need to choose your service point and if you are applying from nepal then you should choose the embassy of finland in Kathmandu, and you should pay some amount of fee there and you will get your date and submit your application thank you for watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you so much all of you